Hey Pisces, welcome to your July love forecast. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you're not a Pisces and you're just watching because you're curious about a Pisces, you're more than welcome to hang out and watch. But keep in mind, my darlings, uh, that I do have a specific cross-watcher series. So after this video, if you want to click and watch the cross-watcher video, feel free to do so. And Pisces, if you're curious about another sign... You can click on that link as well. But we're going to see what's coming up for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising in the area of love, of amour. All right, let's see what's happening. One more good shuffle here. One more good shuffle here. I'm getting the number five as I'm connecting with your energy, Pisces. Um, this is not like a, when I say this, I want to clarify something. This is something very specific to my readings. It's not a numerology thing. And if you ask another reader about it, they might be like, what in the heck are you talking about? That's crazy. Um, it's just I don't know why or how it started, but my guides will give me a certain number that mean a certain kind of relationship. And so when I'm getting five uh, before a reading, it tells me there's either something very karmic happening or something long distance where there's this energy that needs to be worked out. There needs to be this exchange. There needs to be this effort. So some of you, there could be some kind of travel or some kind of long distance relationship. For other ones of you, you could be dealing with someone where it's very hot and cold, very up and down, very, uh, you know, uh, sweet and sour, you know, so we're going to see what the cards have to say, what's coming up. And after we look at these beautiful cards, I'm going to pull a love message for you from your soulmate from a, from a message deck. We're going to see what your soulmate has to say to you, my darlings. So we have six of pentacles coming up for you, um, in kind of the foundation of the energy for the, for the month. Six of pentacles could mean that, uh, you might have issues of money in a relationship, like maybe you guys are um, arguing over money, or maybe it just kind of feels like one person is giving more than the other, or maybe you have been in relationships in the past where, you know, you have felt that people were kind of with you because they needed a place to stay, or they were taking advantage of your generosity. But when Six of Pentacles comes up, it tells us that it's time for that energy to balance out. It's coming into a time where you're going to be really able to, um, like, uh, have a, a, an even and equal flow. So some of you are getting really tired of not being on the receiving end or some of you are getting very tired of being in a situation where maybe you don't have a whole lot of control maybe you're in a relationship where the other person makes all the money and you have to like you know ask you know for for, for like you know every little thing maybe somebody's being financially manipulative or you're just kind of feeling like you want to be in this energy where you have this independence right like you have your own money saved aside and this isn't necessarily about being a gold digger or being materialistic or anything like that um we can do a lot of really good things with money we can give to charity uh we can travel and we can see friends or family we haven't seen in a while we could use it to uh you know do good things it's not necessarily about like being in love with money but there's some energy here that needs to be at, be balanced. There's like, like I'm hearing checks and balances. So something is happening here where you are beginning to manifest the kind of energy in your love life where you are going to be receiving, where it's, it's not going to be all about, you know, giving, 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 giving all the time. You're going to come into an energy where you're going to begin being able to receive as well. Your next card here for the month is two of cups and this is like a healthy relationship this is like a soulmate relationship so you're coming into this energy where you're going to be able to have this perfect relationship when i see two of cups for me and this is just kind of like the way that i read it's not for all readers but it's it, it, it's something for me when i see two of cups it gives me a sense that the person i'm reading for is coming out of this time of um 
really long-lasting codependent kind of situation codependent kind of relationship and so now they're finally in the energy where again they're in this fair give and take it's this fair give and take two people who are equals working together usually also it tells me that it's somebody that is manifesting a relationship or coming into a relationship where the communication is a lot healthier maybe in the past communication was really passive aggressive or maybe you all couldn't talk to each other without it turning into yelling but now you're coming into the energy of being able to communicate clearly being able to work as a team being able to understand one another uh, there's a lot of healing that has occurred you're coming into your confidence you're coming into your healing and you're attracting a person who has done the same okay so it's like two people who are ready like they're in it to win it like they're in it to make it happen they're in it to make it work no more flakiness no more you know you do all the work and i'll take a free ride these are two people who are in this together i mean just look like the way that they're looking at each other right like you can tell they're in love right and you can see that they're very focused on one another and um it's like there's this energy flow in between the two cups like you give to me, I give to you, we keep the flow going, we keep the exchange going, right? And we're both satisfied, we're both full. Your next card, my darlings, is the death card. Now, don't let this scare you. This can mean a couple of different things. Um, Some of you may be finding yourself in a relationship with a Scorpio who is a very significant soulmate. Or it could be someone that has Scorpio in their moon or in their rising, okay? You may have Scorpio in your moon or your rising. Um, or maybe you're a Scorpio sun sign and Pisces is your moon or rising and you're, and you're watching this. Uh, but I don't like to get too hung up on the astrological connections. I just mentioned that because some people, it's like it's important for them or it validates something for them. But... When the death card comes up, death card is associated with Scorpio, not because Scorpios love death, no, not, not by any means, but uh, it's because of the fact that it's a card having to do with transformation. It's a card having to do with things ending and being reborn and coming out of it like a phoenix out of the ashes and rebuilding and creating something new. Even as we look at this picture, it looks really scary. But look, there's that beautiful white flower there or silver flower um, that's kind of like being born out of that blade that's that's coming into existence. Even when we see the dark, you know, like the dark sky in the background, it looks like there's like a storm coming. We see light breaking in the distance. We see light coming through those menacing clouds. So there's there's this rebirth that's happening. Something is ending so that something new can be born, so that something new can be created. And it's going to come in in different ways for different ones of you. Uh, for many of you, this has to do with your own personal transformation, where there's just certain aspects of yourself that you realize have been holding you back, that haven't been good for you, and you're going to be able to just come into this higher vibrational more healed version of yourself and for some of you you're going to look around and you're going to be like you know what i'm just i'm not feeling it anymore with my old friends even maybe like with family sometimes when the death card comes up we're going through such a transformation that we don't feel like we click with anybody else anymore and we're looking for our soul tribe or we're looking for a new vibration of people to spend time with okay um and so is for many of you this transformation is going to be coming in and then so once you have this transformation some of you are feeling that it is time to leave a relationship behind uh some of you are feeling it is a time to start over some of you are going through a rebirth of a of a relationship altogether where you're just like you know what i'm not gonna let this person go i know that they're my soulmate i know that we all make mistakes they're doing what they need to do they're working on themselves so they're showing me that they want to save this relationship so then the the death card can mean that whatever happened between you guys in the past you're quashing it you're going to give this a chance and you're doing it with a clean slate not in the way where you're holding the past over the person's head 
constantly not in a way where every time there's an argument now all of a sudden you've got this collateral or you've got this card that you can pull out and say oh yeah well remember when you you know no 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 like if you're giving this person a chance you're not bringing up the past if something happens moving forward something new that's a whole different story you know depending on what it is you know but as far as what's happening in the what happened in the past if you are deciding to give this relationship a phoenix rising from the ashes moment you know give it this chance for rebirth and to grow and to be stronger the past is dead we don't go and we don't dig up the dead if when we bury the dead we leave the dead buried past needs to stay behind you okay otherwise you're going to sabotage yourself for other ones of you pisces um this is having to do with like say you were in in a cycle where things were abusive or things were toxic or you know you were just really in somebody's energy that like was really really like mistreating you you're re realizing you want that two of cups energy you're realizing you want somebody who's going to make an effort and so you can be ending a toxic relationship as you're going through your transformation usually when the death card comes up it's just basically saying you're ready for something that's giving you more of a sense of life fulfillment and joy and what hasn't been working you're ready to put behind you i do feel many of you are very lucky and you're having like this soulmate moment where um a relationship you've been wanting to walk away from but your your partner's really stepping up like wait a minute we have a lot here like you know even if you haven't been together for a very long time you all may have been through very significant things together and this person's making an effort this person's trying this person's saying give me a chance here's what i'm doing to change you know here's what i'm doing you know to help the situation and so for many of you there's there's a transformation you're going through with another person uh, but those of you who are single all of the crappy relationships that you've had before that cycle is ending you're coming into a higher vibration okay um many of you are making permanent life changes that's aligning you with your soulmate or aligning you with a more stable person so if there were things about your lifestyle in the past that weren't necessarily like risque or scandalous you know but there may have been things about your life in the past that made it difficult for you to go from single energy to committed energy maybe you just had some wild friends you ran with or maybe you hung out in places where people weren't looking for commitment or maybe you had a job that took a lot of your time and a lot of your energy and made it impossible for you to have a social life you know whatever it is you're coming out of this energy and you're coming into the energy of you know being able to have these permanent changes in your life that's aligning you with the relationship that you've been hungry for and sure enough your next card here is the chariot so look you have had two major arcana cards coming back to back and as far as major arcana cards go these are doozies like these are big ones right and the major arcana cards don't get me wrong they they, they are a big energy and they come up to sig signify things like you know a crossroads or a life lesson or something very significant happening in your life significant soulmate significant moment of growth things of that nature um but you know the, the these are like really really action cards or really you know big event kind of cards that you've had come in back to back the death is that transformation that permanent change uh the chariot is a card about taking action and moving in a new direction okay uh chariot is also associated with the astrological sign of cancer again i don't like to get too much into the astrological signs i don't like to tie into it too much but some people need to hear it because it's a validation for them in some way so there could be a significant soulmate coming in being represented by this card astrologically but overall when the chariot comes up it wants you to know something this situation is in your hands this situation is going to require your focus and you to take charge and you to begin making a movement. Some of you have felt very stuck and some of you have felt very uh, like a situation isn't moving along or you're not having the changes that you want. And the chariot wants you to know that once you pick a direction, once you decide what direction you want to go in and you stay focused on the finish line, it's going to happen very quickly.
it's it's just gonna flow it's gonna happen i've said this in other videos recently when the chariot card has come up and it's beginning to become like my my, my tagline for this card but it's like what ralph waldo emerson said he said once you make a decision the universe conspires to make it happen so once you decide what you want, what you truly, truly want, if you truly want to work towards that reconciliation with the person who's really, truly showing you they sincerely are making the effort to reconcile, or if you truly want to move away from a toxic relationship and you want to meet the love of your life, or you want to go from single to being in a relationship that's a long lasting committed relationship, or if you just decide you want to have fun and you want to have a good time whatever it is once you focus and you decide what your happy happiest or fullest future is for you in your life around love and romance and you begin to focus on that then you're going to find that the universe is beginning to bring up the energy to make it happen because the death card is already letting us know whatever was blocking you was out of the way right whatever was like not useful you're chugging it you're getting rid of it so whatever was blocking you is out of the way now all you need to do is get clear about what you want focus on the finish line and the universe is going to carry you well i'm not saying the universe is going to carry you there because you are making an effort but the universe is going to give you a great big push the universe is really going to help you speed it up you know it's, it's the win in your sales it's keeping you going um so you just need to decide you know where you want to go and stay focused chariot card also to me sometimes is like you're getting to a place of safety so some of you who have been stuck in a toxic or dangerous relationship where you've had an abusive partner you are getting to safety like this is the time that if you can get out of the fear-based mind and get into logic and survival and what needs to be done and ask your angels and guides to guide you and help you and give you the clarity to reach out to the right people or the right resources um, or to do this you know um, in the safest way uh, a lot of you are going to really be able to once and for all get out of a dangerous situation those of you who've been stuck in a dangerous situation for a long time for other ones of you you're just getting this fresh start you're moving away from past energy old energy and you're getting to a place where you can align with a really great partner so maybe a new social circle maybe you're hanging out with a new place maybe you're just doing more higher vibrational things and it's aligning you or maybe you and in, in your partner those of you who are reconciling and there's something worth saving or you're, you've just been together for a long time you all might be coming into this energy where um you're able to kind of get a fresh start somewhere else together okay so, so <clears throat> maybe for some of you this means a physical move like a physical move that you've been feeling that needs to happen to save your relationship or salvage your relationship um that could be coming in for many of you your next card here Dun, dun, dun. another major arcana card and another big one the tower right i always say with the tower card it doesn't necessarily have to be a terrible thing that's happening because all the tower card means is that there's a permanent change coming in your life so you had the death card you had the tower card those two together are boom pow bang pow wow like very very heavy energy and some of you are like oh relationship sending you know tower card death card chariot there's no way this relationship is over um and that could be the case for some of you but we're gonna pull clarifiers because the tower card can also mean just basically uh positive things it could be the end of a negative cycle it could be you know meeting the love of your life it could be you know having a baby it could be relocating to a new place it could be landing your dream job it can be things that we consider to be positive it doesn't always have to be a negative doom and gloom situation it just means there's a really big change that's happening that's pushing you out of your comfort zone and that is a permanent change but we're going to see and we're going to pull clarifiers here I want to have clarifiers for you, Pisces, why the tower is coming up. Lots of anxiety. So you are in a fear-based mind. Arguments.
you're not happy with what the person is offering you. You feel like the person's not giving you enough. You feel like the person's not giving you enough, right? Your first card was Six of Pentacles, generosity. So you may feel like this person's holding out on you, okay? You might feel like this person's not giving you what you want or what you deserve or as much as you're giving them. Or they might be, you know, accusing you of this. It could be the other way around, Pisces. You know, maybe they feel like, you know, you just kind of argue with me and you're not there for me and you don't give me what I give you or I give you more than you give me. Sometimes the roles can be reversed. But this is what needs to be changed. And maybe Spirit is bringing you this information not to bum you out. Not to be, you know, negative Nancy here, negative Nancy universe edition, but more in the sense that maybe you're having a hard time, you know, pinpointing what it is about the relationship that you're not happy about. And it could be that you just, you just feel like this person is not involved or, or maybe they're having a hard time expressing to you what their issue is with you. And it could be that they just kind of feel like you're not involved or you're not, you're not making an effort to connect with them or, you know, ways and things that like they're interested in. Maybe you're like, oh, honey, we should go to the museum this weekend. And that's your way of like connecting with this person because you love the museum and you think it would be nice to walk around together, right? And to do spend time together. And they're like, eh, no, I, I, I got to work or no, I'm tired or, you know, whatever. And oh, there they go again, always shooting down my ideas. They never want to spend time with me. It's not that they don't want to spend time with you. Maybe they just don't want to walk around the museum. You know, maybe you can think of mutually enjoyable things to do together. Uh, maybe you all can sit down and you can talk and you can say, I just kind of feel like, you know, um, there are certain aspects about the relationship that you're avoiding or, you know, not spending time together. Like what can happen or what can change for you to feel like, you know, more enthusiastic about it or more enthusiastic to spend time together what are some things that maybe you would like to do together you know are there issues with finances here are you guys not agreeing on where money is being spent or how money is being put away you got to sit down you got to talk about those things there just needs to be a, an equal give and take that is the way that you can save this relationship if you keep avoiding it and if you don't handle it if you don't address it if you just keep thinking that something's going to change and it's just going to automatically fix itself the tower card is saying no it's not going to automatically fix itself you're going to end you're going to end the relationship you're going to come into that relationship of like things ending right so if you do want to save the relationship and if your partner seems to want to save the relationship but you all can't seem to figure out what it is or why the disconnect is this is the reason why okay you guys got to get on the same page mutually um you know focus on what you have in common focus on uh the commonalities and not the differences and how you can move towards those commonalities those of you who are single you're cleaning house you're cleaning house any situation any person anything that's been robbing you of your time and your energy you are moving away that from that stuff like the plague and you are opening up room and space for this soulmate to come in. You know, you've been the kind of person maybe for a long time that you drop everything to fix everybody else's problems or, you know, like, you know, you, you do so much for everybody else and they don't give you anything back and you're just in this energy where you're done with it. You're like, I'm done with it. I'm over it. That's not me anymore. I'm not going to go through my life, you know, uh, walking, breathing doormat, you know, so it's this very powerful energy that you're experiencing this rebirth that you're experiencing this moving forward that you're experiencing um your old life your old way of interacting with people is forever done and you're opening the door to love okay opening the door to love so my darlings let's see what your message is from your soulmate even if you have not met the soulmate yet. This is a really pretty deck. The artwork's really pretty. Um, every card has a message on the back. So before reading the message to you, I like to look at the picture on the card and see what it's telling me. Oopsie. And as always, guys, I have the info of the deck um, in the description if you want to check out the decks I used today. Mm-mm. All right, so 
we have this really beautiful picture here. And this just seems to me like this security. Like just sleeping like a baby. Um, positivity around you. Beauty around you. Wanting to have like maybe a, a change of pace or a change of atmosphere. A change of environment. You know, placing yourself in a place where you can feel secure. Where you can rest. Where you cannot be worried about things. And to be surrounded by beauty. Okay, so this could just be the desire to be around more positive people. This could be the desire to have more positive thoughts, not to be in anxiety, but to think of the things that are giving you hope and peace and a clear action plan. Okay, but I'm sensing a lot of beauty. I'm sensing a lot of, um, uh, you know, somebody who's been through a lot, but they're ready for things to get better now. The message on the back is... Where there is love, there is life. So your soulmate wants you to understand that they want to align with you as well. Okay, and they're, they're working their way towards you. But both of you right now, in order to have a healthy relationship, need to come from a place of love and not from a place of fear. And need to be in situations where you are experiencing and receiving love. You know, you want to build your life around people, places, and things uh, that, that are positive, that are loving, that are helping this garden grow, that are helping this garden bloom. So especially if you're single, you know, the message here for you is as you're tending to your garden and as you are aligning yourself with other people who are contributing and helping you and, you know, fueling you up and filling you up and nourishing you, um, you're going to align to being together or to making a relationship work. So this is definitely a card about loving yourself, putting energy into yourself, raising the vibration so that you're aligning with the perfect partner, right? Where there is love, there is life. And they want to build a loving life with you. They want their life to be with you. Okay? So they're working their way towards you. If you all haven't met, if you all are together now, they want to do the work to make that, that garden grow. Check out your moon sign and rising sign videos too, my darlings, because some weeks, those are some months, those may resonate with you more. Overall, they might just kind of add and bring you a little extra information, little extra tidbits of information. You may need a private reading. I'm more than happy to do that for you. If you click on the Calendly link in the description of this video, it will allow you to book a private reading with me. And, um, you know, don't forget, guys, to check out the weekly forecasts. I know that we all get really caught up in love. I know it's really important for people. It's a part of being human. I totally get it. But don't get so wrapped up in love or somebody else that you forget about you. That's why every single week I do the weekly forecasts because I want to focus on you. I want to focus on your energy, your journey, your spiritual growth, your uh, spiritual gifts and, and abilities, uh, your finances, your career, your abundance, your uh, interpersonal relationships. I want to focus on you and I want you to do the same. So weekly forecasts are not very long and they happen every single week so be sure to check that out if you hit the subscribe and notification button you'll get a notice when those videos are up as well as other videos that are coming and uh my darlings please 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 uh you know please do that please don't forget about you in the process and those of you i'm having a lot of fun getting to know some of you on social media through the comments and stuff on social media a lot of you have been checking out the message of the day the card of the day and a lot of you have been playing the pick a guard card game with me on there uh, people seem to really enjoy that. Uh, and I've been a lot more regular about posting the pick a card game because I was getting behind and people like, where's the pick a card? Are you going to pick a card? So um, that's a lot of fun. So if you haven't already taken advantage of that, go ahead and follow, you know, like and follow Amethyst Angelite on Facebook and Instagram. And then you can get the daily message. You can pick the play the pick a card game every single day. And that's a fun little way of getting little psychic tidbits in between the, the, the videos. So thank you so much for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. Thank you for being here, my darlings. Wishing you all the best.